It's time now for a look at the latest in local news. In the news, arson is the cause of the Saturday morning fire as just a police responded to a burglar alarm at 149 East Cherry Street. The business with the fire alarm is the Holsey Law Firm. When they arrived, they found smoke coming from the building. Just a fire department was dispatched at 428 a.m. Saturday morning, arrived around 430 a.m. Saturday morning. Fire was under control a few hours later, but units remained on the scene until around 930 that morning extinguishing the hot spots on the second story of the building. The law firm and Harris Real Estate buildings destroyed inside. Hinesville Fire Department responded with their ladder truck to assist in extinguishing the flames. The investigation by the Georgia Fire Marshal's Office and the Justice Fire Department shows the fire was intentionally set. The fire has begun. The fire has been ruled arson. There were signs of forced entry into the building, and multiple items were taken from the law firm. If anyone knows anything about the fire, they're asked to contact the Georgia Arson Control Unit at 1-800-282-5804. Again, that number, 800-282-5804. Reward of $10,000 is being offered for information leading to an arrest and conviction of those responsible. Just a fire department wants to thank the Hinesville Fire Department, along with the Wayne County Fire, Odom, Scriven, and Long State Prison Fire Departments, who all assisted in fighting the blaze. Once again, the fire was deliberately set. The investigation ongoing. Again, if you have any information, they asked you to call this number, 800-282-5804. Again, 800-282-5804. We'll be back with more news after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Awesome customer service. Love this place. The staff is very friendly, very convenient, and fast. These are just some of the social media quotes people have said about their experience with Stucky's Cleaners. Trust your dry cleaning and laundry needs to the professionals at Stucky. In other news, the Wayne County Commissioners are set to meet tonight at 6 p.m. in courtroom C. On the agenda, it begins with an executive session to discuss personnel. Under Citizens Concerns, Dennis Grantham on hand talking about Wayne County Courthouse Historical Society and Revolution War Monument and Vietnam War Monuments. Dr. Tony Anthony Simmons to talk about Victory Drive being maintained by the county. Ben Robertson on hand to talk about employees' pay and changes in personnel policy. New business on the agenda. Consider and approve amending the fiscal year 2022 general fund budget through ARP for a truck for a maintenance department. Consider and approve nominees for the Board of Registrar. Consider and approve contract for a Bill Morris Park Recreation parking lot. Consider and approve 2022 the MIG change order number two. Consider and approve resolution opting out of requiring mobile home decals. Consider and approve amending the annual control ordinance. Consider and approve agriculture multi-purpose complex. Consider and approve sale of property of Robert Hunter Circle. Consider and approve list of roadways for speed ordinance. Items with the administrator and commissioners all that tonight at 6 p.m. Have a full report for you tomorrow here on the local news. The day after state officials released revenue numbers pointing to a massive tax surplus, Democratic candidate for Governor Stacey Abrams called for a $1 billion taxpayer rebate. Because her opponent, Governor Kemp, cannot unilaterally allocate surplus money for tax refunds without legislative approval. Abrams says she wants Kemp to use federal COVID relief money to give Georgians the rebate as soon as possible. Under George law, Kemp decides how the $2.4 billion in COVID relief money the state recently received can be spent. However, federal officials have made it clear that the money cannot be used for tax cuts. Georgia's Governor First Lady suffered another death in the family over the weekend. On Sunday, Governor Kemp's mother-in-law, Jeannie Lois Alderson Argo, died at the age of 92. In a statement posted on Twitter, Marty Kemp called her mother a guiding presence in the family, saying her mother has now been reunited with both her husband and daughter. We'll be back with a final news note after this word from our sponsor of the commercial messages, so please stay tuned. Final note in the news, longtime Wayne County official and umpire Jimmy Peake passed away over the weekend. Reinhardt and Sons Funeral Home is in charge of all the arrangements and is meeting with the family this morning. Now this will be posted around noon today. Again, Jimmy Peake and Jimmy Overstreet umpired thousands of recreation high school games over the years. And Jimmy Peake passing away on Sunday. Once again, Reinhardt and Sons Funeral Home will be in charge of all the arrangements. And the arrangements will be official around 12 noon today. That's going to do it for the latest day in local news. Sports coming your way in a few minutes. Bob Morgan's have a great day.